we had um, an, an unusual donor. Um, I was um, holding the consent agenda that night, and after some discussion, uh, the ball wall at Baldwin Gates Acres was approved, and interpreting services, purchase order was in three. We, we approved the in, uh, inspector of records of interest project for spring and summer, and the state required the school that either needs to be on site or go between sites to constantly monitor the um, construction. And we uh, approved architectural and engineering services for Concord High School in the spring and summer. And we approved adjustments for the non public school residential and learning health services. We also approved to eliminate. Um, Management committees and put three previous committees were, uh, uh, that had, uh, eliminate the management and put them under the board advisory standing committees. And those three that were affected were athletic advisory, equity advisory, and superintendent Cedar Pass. So, what that does is it just puts them in a different category and perhaps can allow more public access to these meetings. So, that would be the purpose of that, of just changing it. That would be why designating for one group to another might make a difference. Um, there, crossing guards again were discussed, and we, a pilot program was announced that we was going to begin at Ayers on February 4th. And I can't tell you that I've been out there yet to see how it's going, but I will probably in the next day or two see how they're doing with um, parent volunteers being trained by the Concord Police. <laughs> so we have parents and we have police working together, but we, we still have not worked out that um, money issue. <laughs> which always hangs out there. We also um, had a wonderful opportunity of observing a video um, about tomorrow, uh, about the tomorrow's culinary competition which was held at, yes. at, at Concord High School in December, and I believe they were going to the graders, and it was just, oh, just wonderful. It was so fun to see these our students doing something that was sort of non-academic, what they were doing, why, how they were doing it, why they chose what they chose, and um, letting them be a part to see that they think it's lovely. And we approved the audit report that night, and we approved the issuance and sale of uh, general obligation bonds for $60 million. We approved the budget development calendar, uh, a contract for document uh, tracking services. We reviewed the uh, plan to address the significant same thing that we here last, last meeting, the significantly disproportionality where 15% of the special ed budget will go to um, coordinate early early intervention in regular ed to hopefully, it's not just, it's in regular ed for all students, but hopefully by this early intervention we will be able to find other ways to serve our students that are having problems without just assigning them to special education as the way to fix the problems because a lot of times that's not necessarily, will not necessarily in the long run be the best way. We could just talk about it early and find it. Another, another um, way to um, meet their needs. And um, we reviewed the single plan for the achievement. in the road for us because um, that's related to parents having to pay for for um, educational programs. Be a, uh, a team, an athletic team, or a field trip. And if they can't be required to do it, and everything, so it must be, it must be voluntary. However, we, it, there's a <laughs> balance between voluntary and then having or not having any programs because, you know, enough families can't necessarily pay for a field trip or can't pay for something, so you either don't do it or it's subsidized or something like that. So this will be, if this is new to us again, so once all these, once they have some of these, these um, things began for Sacramento, it just requires us to sort of relook at what we do and figure out how